Hi there, I'm Roy from Elementor, and today I'm thrilled to introduce you to Elementor version 325. We've packed this version with exciting updates like supercharged performance and booster site experience. So stay tuned for this one, you won't want to miss it. Remember how in Elementor 324 we made big progress with conditional CSS loading? Well, we've taken it even further, because now Elementor Pro starts with zero CSS, meaning that you start with no CSS weight at all. The CSS code grows with you as you build and expand. WooCommerce widgets now also load only the styles you need, saving up to 197 kilobytes of CSS, as well as more Elementor widgets like theme elements, carousel widgets, and forms that now also load conditionally. And global styles are optimized too, saving you up to another 65 kilobytes of CSS. Just like packing for a trip, we've made sure to only pack what's essential and all at once, so your site is both fast and efficient. Elementor CSS loading, the old way versus the new way. Optimized, just like Elementor's CSS code. Now faster than ever. Conditionally loading only the styles that each page needs, reducing the page CSS size by up to 668 kilobytes. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna call you when I land. No, no worries. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, so there's actually more. We're also working on removing our JavaScript library and transitioning to more CSS-based solutions. This also enabled us to add a new anchor offset control. And for those of you who are not familiar with anchor links, these are hyperlinks that take visitors to a specific section in the same page, allowing for easy navigation with long or complex content. Now, one common issue with anchor links is that they tend to scroll to a position underneath sticky headers, hiding content, and of course, we don't want that. With the new anchor offset control, Elementor Pro users can set anchor links to scroll to the desired and correct position, ensuring all content is visible. So you get a better and smoother visitor experience. The CSS solution ensures better consistency across devices and your site is faster thanks to the reduction of JavaScript. But that's not all, because version 325 also introduces a highly requested update to Elementor Pro's search widget. You can now add pagination to the live results dropdown. I'll explain. Previously, when search results exceeded the number of items displayed in the loop template, for example, it would show three items when there are 10 relevant results, visitors couldn't see additional results right away. They had to click search and or enter, be redirected to the search results archive, and then navigate through the results. With the new pagination feature, visitors can now view and interact with more search results directly within the live search dropdown. They just click next or navigate through the pagination digits. It's a smoother, more engaging search experience, helping visitors find what they're looking for. So that's Elementor 325. Update today to enjoy these great new updates, improve your visitor experience, and boost your website's speed and performance.